Hey there, YTPC. New Jersey Piper Ben here. <clears throat> Went from like snow squalls blowing through to short sleeves. Weather's being a bit nutty lately, but it's a beautiful day, that's for sure. Definitely no clouds on the horizon this time. <laughs> So I watched the full Doddle review of Cornell and Deal's Bayou Morning Flake, and um, it's a great review. And he clearly liked the tobacco a lot. Uh, and I have some Bayou Morning Flake. I uh, bought some in November last year and jarred it up, and I think I only smoked it one time until now. I'm doing a quick revisit. Got my little Rossi Note 411, little quarter bent pot. It's a nice little, no, it's not, sorry, it's not a pot, it's a poker. But yeah, that 25% uh, Perique is making its presence known for sure on that retro hail <laughs> nice and spicy almost you know you want to be careful with the uh the strength of your draw when you do a retro on this because that uh <laughs> that uh, little burny little tingly will stick around for a while if you're not careful And I'm very bad at sipping tobacco, as many of you have probably noticed. I'm trying to break that mindset of, uh, you know, 15 year cigarette smoker and, uh, <laughs> You know, smoking, smoking a cigarette on breaks. So I'm, uh, you know, it just that I guess the my default is to, you know, draw hard and, and fast. Which goes against the sort of basic tenets of pipe smoking as a uh, tool for relaxation. <laughs> yeah, after uh after college I worked locally for four and a half years, partly because I couldn't find a job in my career at first. And then uh there were some things that happened with family that made it uh nice to be close to home. But uh I worked at a target distribution center like a town over from my hometown I was just a warehouse worker uh started out in outbound which is basically shipping so loading all the trailers that go to the target stores and that's that's sort of the weed out position in the facility if you can if you can get through that and then eventually get transferred to another department you're generally okay but uh a very physically demanding job Especially for a 12 hour shift, which is what I worked. But you'd be responsible for loading normally on a shift anywhere from six to 10 trailers at a time. So just back and forth in and out of trailers all day.
and you had this overhead conveyor system with individual boxes traveling on these paddles and when the box that gets to your trailer is that's supposed to go on your trailer gets there the paddle tips over and shoots it onto a little ramp and then eventually to a conveyor belt and to eventually a roller that's going in and out of your trailer and you have to keep up with those boxes constantly coming down that ramp and if you get backed up lights come on if you get backed up past a certain level like a red light comes on and that's when the managers are like what the hell's going on over there why is that light on <laughs> So yeah, I used to have nightmares about the sound of, of those rollers with the boxes flying down them. But I eventually got through that and uh, ended up working in warehousing, which are the people that kind of did everything in between receiving and shipping. So processing freight in the facility and storing it and stuff like that, which was much less physically intensive I and mean, I was very good at uh driving the uh the piece of equipment that that can carry three pallets at a time so we called it a triple so basically pulling stuff off of the inbound dock and then transferring it to wherever it needed to be stored and then there would be people there putting it away And obviously the key to that job is making sure your forks are never empty. But anyway, <laughs> the reason I started talking about that is I was thinking about being a cigarette smoker and, uh, for a 12 hour shift starting at 6 a.m. and getting off at 6 p.m. we would get one break at 10 o'clock and then a lunch around noon which was the first break was 15 minutes lunch was 25 minutes and then there was an afternoon break that was another 15 minutes so you become an expert at smoking cigarettes because <laughs> you want to get at least two cigarettes into each of those breaks. So, yeah. So that's, that's sort of where I'm coming from with a, uh, from a smoking POV, which I have to break that, you know, to get the most out of pipe smoking. But yeah, um, full Doddle. I, th I think I think I heard somebody call him Dallas on Stefan Skip's lives. I, I don't think I'd gotten his name before, but he was spot on with his uh, his review. the The darker Virginias are definitely sort of driving the bus here with the Perique's, uh, giving some giving some nice spice. Uh, it's a twenty five percent Perique is a pretty pretty good amount for Perique. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a on on a on a vapor scale it's a bold it's a bold vapor compared to like a scudo or even like the 20th anniversary flakes that came out recently the uh the Cornell Cornell deal ones which are which are really good too so within that scale I'm probably probably like more the lighter ones like the Escudo and the uh, the 20th anniversary light flake probably prefer those more to this but this is still good it's still really good stuff but again if you're if you're if you're wanting to choose a vapor just know that this one is a bolder choice stronger flavors uh more perique so yeah Okay, yay! Oh, I was gonna try to keep it under ten, but uh, just just ticked over ten minutes. Uh, hope you guys are doing well, and we'll see you next time.